Hello guys and welcome. So today we're going to be taking a look at this here car Bluetooth adapter. This is basically an adapter for your car. If your car radio that you have in your car doesn't have a has doesn't have Bluetooth functionality, you can basically plug this into your uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack or not headphone jack auxiliary, and it just gives your car Bluetooth functionality. It makes it so that you can listen to music from your phone, receive calls with your hands free. So yeah, it's a nice little thing. But I also think it has quite a bit of other functionality which you can where you can use it inside of your house on your sound system to play music from your phone through Bluetooth so you don't need to sit right next to it the whole time. But We'll have to see exactly just how well that works. So, without any further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so here we have it now. So, as for the box, that's the little box, it does the job. Not worth much otherwise. And then we have our product right here. So, let's see what we got. So, we got our little Bluetooth adapter, hands three, three thingy itself very simplistic and small that's nice and then next we have a little very short uh, micro USB cable for charging so yeah that's very short I don't think I've gotten such a short one before with any of my products but uh, I think it will do the job probably okay and then we have this little thing I saw this. It's quite a strange kind of adapter. It's a male 3.5 millimeter stereo jack to male 3.5 stereo jack that you basically just use to connect it to your RCA, uh, not RCA, auxiliary connector on your car radio or anything else that has an auxiliary. We could even use this on like a portable speaker that doesn't have Bluetooth. So yeah, that's nice, I think. Quite a strange adapter, but it could be useful. So now, what's in here? It's we've only got the little manual still, and it's a really small one again. And it's Chinese and English. It just shows you the basics and some specs for the device, and yeah, with what everything does and where it is and everything. Yeah, very basic. Shouldn't even need that because we don't use manuals. Okay, so as for the little adapter itself, here we have it. We have um, our USB for charging here. Our auxiliary for audio out. And our little mic here on the front for like hands-free calling. And then here on the top we just have our little button. I believe this is just for power. Let's see if it goes on. And yes, it does. It has a little blue light flickering. So now we should be able to just connect a phone or something to it and then play some music. Uh, so this just goes in there. Then you plug it into like car radio or anything else. And you can even just, because this is standard uh, 3.5 millimeter jack, like a headphone jack of your phone or anything. You can also plug your normal auxiliary cable into here if you don't want to use this little thing standing off. Because that's the only thing that I don't like about this is it's standing out from your radio the whole time. Hanging from your 3.5mm jack. So I think you might actually bump into it and damage your car radio's 3.5mm auxiliary. And that would be bad because then it becomes useless. So yeah. That's the only issue that I have with having this thing standing out like this instead of just having a cable. Because the cable would be smaller. Otherwise, it is built quite cheaply. But I wouldn't say too cheaply. I mean, at that price I really can't complain actually to tell you the truth. It's pretty okay. It's lightweight. I'm not sure exactly how good the battery life is. So, 
I don't see them stating battery life here. Yeah, so that's basically it for this little thing. So let's go out and test it inside of my car. Okay, so here we are now in my car. And here is my head unit. As you can see, this is a very basic head unit. It doesn't have any Bluetooth functionality on it. So now let's test out this little adapter. So my radio does have an auxiliary plug on it. So I guess we just plug it in there. And you see I have set it to auxiliary on the screen. You can see it. Okay, so now I just press and hold the button, I believe. Okay, we've got sound. Now I'm going to connect it to this phone here. Let's see. Let's say Bluetooth on. I'm just going to change hands because this is hard. My Bluetooth was on, I think. Okay, so on the phone. I think it should detect it now. Okay, and there it is, and it's pairing. Connected. Okay, and it's paired up. So let's try and play some music now, and see how that goes. I'm just gonna open up VLC, and let's play this song. Okay, and it's playing. Can turn up the volume on the phone okay so that's the phone now I'm just gonna put it down here and then I can use the car's own volume control okay so the audio quality isn't as good as it would be if I'm playing directly from the phone with an auxiliary cable or playing from a memory card here in my radio because I usually that's how I play, I play from a memory card. So yes the audio quality isn't as good as that but it's actually pretty good. It's a little low on the bass but overall it's not that bad. So. For the price that this adapter costs, I would say it's totally worth it. Um, I did test the microphone before also, and for the hands-free purposes, it's also pretty good. So you could connect it to your phone and use the hands-free inside of your car as well. So yeah, overall, I give this adapter a thumbs up. It's this little thing. And it's a good one. So, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more content like this, please do subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.